Okay, so this is um, uh, the Vixen software then. Um, this is what the open screen looks like here. Um, you can download this, like I said before, from the internet. It's um, a free available software. Um, the Vixen team uh, over in America, a group of uh, computer technicians and that, uh, have come together to create this piece of uh, genius software. Um, and they do it in their spare time and they are giving it away for free. So um, a big thank you to those guys there that are working on this and the team that works on this software. Uh, I'm uh, using Vixen 3.0.8, uh, Vixen 3. Um, I don't know if there's a new one out yet. I haven't checked recently. I've had this from last year, so I've not actually checked this year to see if there's any new improvements or updates. Um, a lot of people use Vixen 2, um, which is uh, one of the first ones really that came, well, it's obviously the second one that came out, but it's the most common one used by everyone. Um, it's the people are saying that Vixen 3 still had a few more glitches with it, but for what I do and what I use it for, um, it's brilliant and it's perfect for me. Um, what this software can do um, it is pretty impressive um, compared to um, uh, what I use it for. Um, like I said, I don't use it um, half as much as that I should do. Um, just because obviously it's early stage for me, it's only my second year. I've been concentrating so much more on the um, relay side of things this year. Um, so hopefully next year I'm going to concentrate more on the software um, uh, and get to use the program a bit more advancedly. Um, so this is the Vixen 3. I'm only using literally the software to turn the lights on and off. The same thing with the relays and everything like that I said before in the videos. All my lights are doing are going on and off to a certain time in the music that I want it to. Um, still creates a great effect anyway. Um, so this is the Vixen 3 then. Uh, I've opened it up, I've downloaded it here from the, uh, from the internet um, onto, my, onto my computer. Um, like I said in previous uh, uh, videos as well, um, uh, my computer here that I've got and um, I'm using is my notebook. It's I only use it for my Christmas lights. Um, I don't use it for anything else in the house like a, a work or a housework. Just purely because I want, I want to keep the CPU down. Uh, I don't want it to be interfering with any other software or any other programs that are running. So I'm just using this computer just purely for this um, software. Um, so I've opened up Vixen 3 here, um, what we need to do is that we've talked about um, in previous videos getting the Arduino Mega talking to the computer um, and making sure that that's all, um, uh, all installed correctly on a computer which we've done. What we need to do now is the last piece of the puzzle, puzzle we need to make sure that Vixen 3 is talking to the computer uh, so that way we know that the computer is talking to Arduino Mega so that we've got them all linked together. So first thing we need to do then is we need to go to configure uh, controllers. So what you do is click on Configure Controllers, it comes up the Configure Controllers. You need to add new controller uh, and then you create uh, what you call a generic serial uh, controller. Okay, um, There's loads of different choices there you can use, Okay, but um, uh, all I use is generic serial. Okay, So click on generic serial uh, and then you create it that way and click OK. Uh, it comes up with the generic serial. What you need to do then is just edit um, how many channels you want to be using. Okay, I'm using 32 this year, last year I only used 16. Uh, so this year I'm using 32, so update to 32. And then we need to go do configure controller. Here is the most important part now then. We need to make sure that first of all in our packet data, click on send uh, a text header. Uh, we then need to add in the squiggly line and then uh, an apostrophe. Um, this is just part of our sketch from earlier on. Um, so you need to make sure that that's linked in there as well. Um, the serial port settings, this is what needs to match up with what we were talking about earlier on when we were uh, installing Arduino Mega. We need to make sure that all our uh, settings here are exactly the same uh, as we were earlier on when we were uh, installing the Arduino. Um, to make sure that those are the same, all you need to do is click on Set uh, and Change Serial Port, and here's the details then where you can put them in. Um, like I said earlier, COM3 is my COM port that's the only one that's free and available, so I've assigned the Arduino Mega to COM3, uh, and it's in use here now as well. Uh, board rate, uh, 9600, is the same as what was on the Arduino, and same as what's in our sketch as well. Uh, the parity was none, uh, data bits is 8, and stop bits is 1, so that all needs to match up with uh, what you've put in your um, it, when you installed the Arduino earlier on in our, in our computer. Um, that way we know then that Vixen is going to be talking to the Arduino uh, and to the computer correctly. If that doesn't match up or your COM port's in the wrong place or you've assigned it to the wrong place or your board rate's out or things like this, slight like numbers out, it won't work. Um, simple as that really. Um, you may find it will work for a little bit and then glitches but that will make sure, double check that this is all connected correctly. I found as well sometimes when I assigned my COM port I would go back, close the program, reopen it and then this would have changed automatically. Uh, it took a few times um, to get that sorted. I just kept assigning it and eventually it just stuck on it really. I'm not, I'm not sure what that glitch was. Um, so small things like that can always happen so just keep checking if any problems checking that this is all correct and your Arduino Mega installation and your device manager is correct as well. Same settings match up. 
Um, so you click OK. Um, <coughs> serial port may be used. Do you wish to continue? Yes, I want to use that. And click on OK, and then that's all ready to go. OK. Next thing then, we need to configure um, our elements and groups. Okay, This is where we install how many plugs or what we're going to be using in our light sequence on our house. For instance, I'm using 32 plugs. So all I've done is nice and simply for my for simple simplicity, I've just um, added. And then you uh, what you do then is you add in uh, an element and then you just name it what you want to name it. And then I've named it plug 1 right through then to plug 32 and you add in that way. You can in this point add in groups. So for instance, if you do like a mega tree or something like that, you could add in a group um, assigned to one plug but you have three sequences on that plug, so it's quite clever on those kind of things as well. Like I said, I don't know this software well enough to actually give demonstrations on this software. This is just what I use and how I use it uh, only. There is loads of other videos out there as well showing you more advanced um, techniques on this software. Um, so please don't um, just assume this is what you can do on it because there's much more you can do with this. Um, then on OK. Next thing, then once you've done your elements and groups, you then need to go to filters and patching. This is where you need to patch across then your filters to your, your serial ports. Um, uh, the way that you do this, okay, uh, or the way that I do it, you need to make sure that you right click on the plug and then you need to um, drag that, keep it holding down, so you right click on the arrow, the arrow will come up, then you just direct it to the generic serial port that you want it to go to. For instance, plug one is going to generic serial port one. Uh, simple as go down through all your collections to make sure that you've um, patched them all together. Okay, this is just a spare one there, that's one I created earlier on when I was doing a demonstration. Um, so just 32, 32, that's why I'm using. Okay, and then you just click OK and that's all patched in then. Um, uh, that is pretty much the issue. You configure controllers, that's all we've done. Your element groups and you can move powers. Configure preview here is pretty clever. Um, this is where you can put in an image of your house or whatever you're actually using. Um, you can go to um, uh, all you do is you click on, for instance, add new preview, um, Vixen display preview. OK, OK, and then it brings up a preview window screen, uh, like so, OK? This will then have an image on it. For instance, um, let me close that. Um, yeah, OK, it's because I've got it selected. Because I've got it selected here, it won't disappear. It'll only disappear once you unselect that. Once you select it, it will come back up. So you can't delete it from that area. You have to unselect it from here. So I'm just going to delete that selected because that's one that I've just demonstrated with. Here's my Vixen display here. OK, if I clicked on that, it would come up with an image of my house here. And this is the house that I'm decorating this year. Um, and this is where I can sync what's in my lights then to tell me what to do. This is only for display purposes. You don't have to do it this way. You could just do... Um, you could just not use a preview tool really. Just go straight to the software and start editing. Um, but what you can do is you select on it, uh, configure preview. Uh, once you've clicked on the device, and it'll come up then um, telling you what to do. This is here where you can just, it's like um, a, a, a drawing kind of sketch program where what you do is you go through, click on the plug, what you're using. Plug one, for instance, um, you'll see that it's gone pink here around my lights here. This is my first Christmas tree that I'm using, a little Christmas tree that I've built. Okay, all I've done there is I've selected a shape up here drawn the little shape like a Christmas tree uh, and then I've assigned it to plug one okay so then that's why when I click on plug one it goes pink so if I to click on that um, down here then you've got a load of options here um, uh, your height of your tree, your point of your tree, the amount of lights on your tree etc etc it's pretty clever but that's not necessary if you're doing what I'm doing whereas I'm just having my lights switch on and off this is the finer detail stuff if you're wanting to control a single LED or a single chain of LEDs you can control this in here, but I'm just using it to go on and off. So I just quickly draw a shape, um, assign it um, to plug one, and then etc. And then I draw my next one. So my next plug would turn on the lights on Christmas tree two. My next plug would turn on the Christmas tree light three, etc. etc. All the way through until all my lights have been assigned on my house here. Uh, and that's how my preview works basically. I'll run a demonstration in a minute anyway for you to see this. Uh, let me just close that down. Um, so that's the previous kind of side of things as well. Not much more really there. You just have a play around with that if you wish to. Um, sequences then new sequence open sequence okay I will um, I'll open the sequence I'm running this year um, that way uh, obviously you'll be clicking on new sequence to create your own new sequence but uh, I'm just going to upload my sequence here at the moment um, it does take a while sometimes with the software depending on your computer um, so this is mine here let's open the sequence so 2014 obviously you can see my sequences from last year were there still you can save up to as many as you want, obviously, and create different sequences all the time. <clears throat> but this is my this year's sequence that's going to upload. And then what it'll do is it'll open up the screen, our, our editing screen here, like so. Um, at the top here, uh, it's building my waveform. At the top here is our audio, okay? 
uh, you could assign uh, pieces of audio to uh, to the obviously that's what you wanted to use it for. <laughs> so you put your audio in there. Okay. Um, the way that you do that, I think, is if I can remember. Uh, sequence associate audio. I think you just go to associate audio, click on there, and then you can add your audio. This software, like I said, is is very very simple to use uh, once you get the first basic steps in there. All of these are different kind of settings you've got at the top here, you can use different types of settings. All I've got here is I've just got a block of colour and I can adapt the the length and the size of that block of colour according to how long I want it to switch on for. Okay. Then once um, um, I just added all the blocks in, in certain areas, here's all my plug count down through the side, left hand side here. This is all my plug count down to 32. Um, and like I said my wave, my audio is at the top here. And then this is in times, obviously this is your time scale through here, down to your seconds. Um, so what will happen is, I've plotted in all my, my display already here, uh, when I want the lights to come on and when I want it to switch off, different effects and that I've put in there. Um, so once I play that, um, it will then tell the channels uh, which uh, channel to switch on and which channel to switch on. So if I just press play on here, I'm going to turn the video to point it towards my, uh, um, press play here. I'm going to point that towards my uh, Arduino and everything up here. You'll see now, once the audio actually gets going, that my lights are going and flashing on. And they're coming on to the timing, obviously, of the uh, audio here. You've got this uh, really nifty kind of uh, red line that tells you exactly where you turn a piece of music. Space bar, stop and pause, nice and simple as well. You can zoom in and out as well, so you can get even finer details with the timing. Um, which is pretty clever as well. Um, what I was talking about with that, um, with the Vixen, with the um, the uh, configure preview, with the previews. What you can do is once you've set up your preview, like we did earlier on, click on preview and bring it up. What you can do then is that you can. Uh, if I was good to the software now, um, sorry, move this out of the way. There's my Vixen preview. I'll just click OK. I've got that up and ready. I can then go to my uh, sequence. Press play. Go to my Vixen preview, and what will happen is, is that it will very cleverly as well. Once the program starts, it will bring up the lights on which ones you're using. Um, as you can see, it's then telling me which lights are coming up and not, which lights are going on and off. 